Okay, so here is our basic toss in the air in slow motion. So now let's add our object tracking in here. And the object tracking is not going to kick in until the ball is released here, so it's going to kick in right there. Here's the object going up and coming down. Alright, so now let's take a look at the data we've collected. So here we have the time along the horizontal. We're starting at time 1 here because the ball is released in one second into the video. Uh, and then we start tracking and notice our Y value is increasing and then decreasing over time. And it looks like it's taking about 2.4 seconds to be released here. Uh, being released from initial height of about 1.65 meters. Now if we look at the x value over time, notice that even though I tried to throw the ball straight up, it in fact tracks slightly to the right over time, and so the x position increases pretty steadily over time, uh, whereas the y position is increasing, it's changing quadratically.